So, people have been asking how to make this bottle rocket launcher slash bottle rocket. And I'm here to try to explain. So I have a list of the hardware that you're going to need for this. I'm going to go through that and then I'll talk about how you actually build it. I'm not going to make another one because it's time consuming. And I already have one. So, um, I'll just go through how to make it. It's actually very straightforward. I'm not going to talk about all the tools you're going to need, although I might mention a couple. Not very complicated tools that you need for this, just uh, a drill with some metal drill bits um, and a wood drill bit, and then a metal saw. You're also going to need a vise. If you don't know what a vise is, this is what a vise is right here. This is a vise. Um, or you might figure out some other way to do this but that's what I used. And the device was used to bend this right here. A vise and a hammer to bend, bend that. Um, metal saw is used to cut a metal bar. Uh, and anyway, there's a couple other details, but let's go through all the hardware and then I'll talk about it, all the building. So, what are you gonna need for this? You're going to need uh, 12 3 h 3 8 nuts. That's what those look like, and you're going to need 12 of those. Um, and then you're going to need two 3 8 wing nuts, and that's what these are here. Uh, these little guys that spin like that. So just make sure all the sizes of all the bolts and all the nuts are all the same, okay? That's the important part. But you're going to need two of those. Then you're going to need two 4 inch, 3 8 inch wide carriage bolts, and that's these. So they're they're uh, about four inches long because they go through the wood, and they're three inches, three eight inches this way. All right, and then the the other bolts you're gonna need is eight two inch three eighths bolts. That's these. Now when I said carriage for these three inch bolts, uh, here's the difference. Here's what a carriage bolt is like. It has this flat head with a little square type of thing in, in there, and this is like a regular hex bolt. So you need Preferably these guys, because then that's going to be a lot easier to uh, to tighten. Plus, the bottom won't have all the stuff sticking out, and you can just hammer it in and then tighten it down. You can also use these; either is fine. Um, but these here I have in the carriage style, and then these I have just this type of head, but they're two inches long. This is too short. All right, then you're going to need ten three eighths washers. So the three eighths is the hole inside. They can be as large as you want them to be. And those are gonna be used primarily for these two locations to, to keep those in there. And then on the bottom here, there's the washers under all of these eight bolts here, okay? Um, then you're gonna need two six inch nails. So these guys look like they're gonna be used to make the actual trigger mechanism and the mechanism that holds the bottle in, okay? And then you're going to need 36 inches of a 3 uh, 3 sixteenths, that means this way. So it's 3 sixteenths this way by uh, 3 quarters this way. Steel bar. Okay? So it needs to be 36 inches long with uh, 3 sixteenths th thickness and 3 fourths width. And you're going to have to cut that up. Um, so that's just all the metal stuff that you see here that you're going to need. So some of the other stuff you're going to need that's not metal is first a 3 inch, or sorry, size 3 rubber stopper. Looks like that. Um, minus this whole deal here with the thing, I'll explain that later, but it's just going to be a rubber stopper like this. You can get it at any hardware store if you go to the section that sells the bolts and nuts and stuff like that. You, there's little boxes that they usually have with all sorts of different rubber things and washers and stuff. And you're going to need one of those. One inch on top three-quarter inch on the bottom, okay, that way. You're gonna need one flat tire, and the reason you need it is so you can cut this little nipple out of it. You're gonna need to use that to work to inflate the bottle. It basically works like inflating a tire, all right? So you need that. Then you need a big piece of board. I have here about a one and a half by one and a half or so, but you can have a two by two board. Uh, you can have a you know wooden board like this, 
or you can have like a cutting board, a plastic cutting board, anything big enough to kind of support, you know, about that much space because it's got to be stable when all this water and stuff is up here. Plus when you yank this, it's got to be able to not fly with the wire, but stand still. Um, the other thing you're going to need is about 10 feet of wire. I don't know, baling wire or whatever you want to call it. Just kind of good rigid wire or a nylon rope or some kind of strong rope that you can use for the handle. You're also going to need a hollow tube. Uh, I think this came off of an old chair or something like that. You can just cut it off uh, or maybe a bicycle part. You know, you could take a bicycle handlebar or something that's old and broken. Just cut it out and this uses for the handle. You're going to need this when you yank it. Otherwise, you're going to hurt your hand. Um, and then besides that, you're going to need the parts for the rocket, which you need two two liter bottles for the rocket. Um, you need about three ounces of weight, which can be just a rock or a metal ball, which is under here. You can't see it. Then you need some cardboard to make the fins on the rocket. And you need some strapping tape to reinforce the edges here and put these on. Um, basically, the most important reason for the strapping tape is to reinforce the bottle's strength so that it doesn't burst when you're inflating it. Okay, so that's all the stuff you're going to need. Oh, yeah, one more last thing. Pump, see? You need a good pump. So either a, a pump that you stand on and you pump with your hands, or this is just a foot pump. One of these guys that you kind of do that with, with your foot. Um, and otherwise, you know, if it's just one of those little car pumps, it's going to take forever and it's going to, you know, unless you have a really nice one, you're going to have to drive your car up to your rocket, which is going to be kind of a nuisance.